in front of God and country and the people of New England Championship Wrestling, I stand blood again! Theirs were battles for the ages. Battles that almost didn't happen. For behind every moment of glory lurked an unspoken of controversy. Unspoken of until now. Do these people really not understand what the fuck they're doing? I, I just don't understand why you would make that decision with the backlash you knew you were going to get and then you did get. And Pierce is having the exact same problem that Cabana is having in their eyes, but yet they're going to go forward with Pierce because they feel that they could manipulate Adam and control him. They don't know Adam Pierce. Do I think the NWA capitalized on it? Mm, no, not, a, not really at all. Well, Cabana suffered the most because he did the business only to have it thrown back in his face. I think it was an unfortunate episode. If I could ever unring a bell, that would be the one. Those are two marketable personalities on the independent scene that are going against each other for the NWA world title, and it's worth something to people out there. This whole angle was covered by mainstream media. I mean, for two independent guys to do that on their own, that, that deserves respect. It was, it was incredible. It was really good, and it told a great story. And I had an opportunity to see almost all of the seven confrontations that they had. Seven matches that would be great to bring in. I mean, it's groundbreaking. I think it's a great idea. These guys put 100% into all of those matches, and uh, they ended up putting on a classic series. I will never forget it. I don't think I'll ever see it again. I hope I'm wrong, but those guys were absolute gold. This is the story of independent wrestling's greatest rivalry. This is seven levels of hate.